This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this Chevy Malibu. It is a 2015 Chevy Malibu LS. Um, it is a 2.5 liter four cylinder, four door, obviously, sedan. It has 79,612 miles. It was a theft recovery slash repo that we purchased uh, directly from an insurance company in California. And it's a nice little car. It came in here, it was filthy. Um, had a broken, let's see, what do we have to do to it? Uh, tires were terrible, got new tires, the driver mirror was cracked, had to replace that, or actually it was missing, I think. Uh, had to replace that. Um, we had to replace the fuel pump module, which is not the fuel pump, it's a module that runs the fuel pump. Um, we had to obviously detail it. We did the accessory battery, which I'll show you in a minute, it's in the trunk, it's a little small battery that runs the accessories. Um, and we replaced the battery under the hood. It got a brand new key and the driver fog light cover. Uh, I'm gonna walk around, I'll show you uh, this vehicle. I'll point at anything I see cosmetically. There's a few little door dings in it. Um, the tires, like I said, are brand new. Just bought them from Discount Tires. Uh, so they're 100% tread. And nice little car. Uh, we've been getting uh, many requests. Uh, my kids are both in high school, son and daughter. And parents obviously are getting first cars for kids. And who gets the call? I do. And so we used to just be diesel trucks and now we're getting a lot of SUVs and little cars like this, um, Civics and Malibus and Xterras and stuff for first cars. Uh, vehicles that people can buy under $10,000. This will be significantly under $10,000. Um, and uh, hopefully I can uh, give people the website and they can just go to that instead of calling me and asking me to find them a car if I can already have found them a car all right all right so first thing I left that panel off so you can see what the accessory that's a brand new accessory battery this thing goes in there and then it closes like that and then we're done all right so real quickly let me run through some paperwork that we have for it um, here's the Kelly blue book for a Malibu uh, with seventy nine thousand six hundred and twelve dollars Typical listing price for this car will be 12,617 with a range of 11,000 to 13,000. Obviously it's going to be quite a bit less than that even though it's still on a clear title. Um, there's the Carfax. Carfax uh, basically blends the Carfax and the Kelly Blue Book. They come up with a value right here of 9410 which is probably a little closer to it. Um, you always see on Carfax when a vehicle is stolen, they'll say total loss. That does not mean salvage, okay? All it means is that a person was paid off a total loss who had the car stolen from them. In this case, it would be Alaska Federal Credit Union, all right? Um, it is never salvage, it never was, and I will show you that right now. Here's the VIN for the, uh, for the car. Carfax one owner, total loss vehicle, I'll show you. The word salvage never comes up in these things because it never was. Total loss is a financial term. Um, people oftentimes do not understand that, but it is. All right, so here's the Carfax itself. This was in San Bernardino. Bum, 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 bum. San Bernardino getting service, blah, blah, blah. At 72,000, it was getting service. 72,810, it was at the Chevy dealer. So what, 6,000 miles ago? California damage report, total loss uh, by insurance. That is not collision. Clear, clear title, never see the word salvage here because it's not and it never was. So, Copart says total loss vehicle. is when a claim exceeds approximately 75% of its pre-damage value or if the vehicle is stolen and not recovered. Not all total loss vehicles result in a DMV reported uh, branded title, which would be salvage because it's not okay here's the clear title that is coming from the insurance company which is real actually it's really the uh, credit union to us okay there's the van this is a clear title it was issued to them uh, July 8th of 19 um, this is obviously the name of the uh, repo victim what happened obviously was because it's an Alaska Federal Credit Union vehicle they didn't make their payment they ran and they went to California where it got uh, busted the credit union reported it as stolen the cops found it so it's just stolen 
and it's a repo, okay? They sold to Wheel Kinetics 829 of 19, and that's the title they signed off to us, okay? So now you've seen all of that fun stuff. Ba -ba -ba. And you will be getting just a regular old clear Arizona title. What you want to see is the history of the vehicle, so that's why we show it. Anyway, there's a little ding here, a little bit of a ding here with some touch up right here. Uh, I could have sworn I saw a little tiny door ding right there. Obviously, I'm being picky. Um, you're not looking for a exotic supercar here, but the minute I leave something out, I get yelled at. So, I'm not doing that. All right, let me get this thing fired up for you. 79,619 miles. Now we're gonna go under the hood. All right, under the hood. A one-handed hood thing here. It's very sunny out right now, but I'm told at one o'clock, which is in an hour and a half, it's gonna rain, uh, which is not true. There's no way. I'll show you the weather here in a second. Uh, look, really? Come on now. A little bit there, but an hour and a half. Very clean, pretty motor. You got the sticker on the hood where it belongs. So that's exactly the way it's supposed to look. window up and down this seat is manual but it does allow you to go up and down with the uh, seat cushion so you can go down with the seat up with the seat and then you use the uh, power of the manual handle to slide it forward I do know that in the uh, center console right here is the uh, auxiliary plug right there and there's the power plug right here. So you got that. People always want to know where that is, right? Clean car. Cheers, this car is pretty. It's actually a really good looking car. Anyway, you'll see a photo gallery. In that photo gallery, you can uh, just pick out individual photos of the vehicles and then look at each photograph really closely. Use your computer to uh, zoom in and stuff you see something you really want to see up close there's your window there just a nice little car Federal sticker, where it belongs, window, window, window. You got the mirrors out, in, up, and down. Other side, out, in, up, and down. Door locks, door locks. Here's the uh, seat. It's got a little crack in the trim right here. Down. Up. That works fine. Got tilt wheel, right? There we go. All right, let's hop in here and get some AC. It's starting to uh, cool off a little bit in Tucson. We'll probably only be like 98 today, which is like a better wear a jacket today. Seatbelt on. Oh, there's a gesture on the seatbelt that I gotta deal with here. Oh my god, all the safety gear lately. So, when you put a seatbelt on, you actually have to grab the frickin' tongue of it and slide it along the thing. I guess that makes it, makes it not uh, slide when you're in an accident. So there's the uh, traction control, see the light right here? That's me doing that off. That, that's traction control off, and that's on, okay? 
Um, let's see what else we got. Air's blowing ice cold. There's the fan. Working on all settings, no problem. I'm gonna leave it there so it's nice. Let's see, radio. Let's see, band. Com slash deal. That's Steering controls. Change the station. There we go. Let's see. Mm. Fired up in. Never mind. You don't want to hear me sing. There you go. Alright, let's see. We have cruise control. Let's see. That's right there. See that? Right there. That's on and off. Uh, let's see. You got turn signals. Oh, here we go. So what do we got here we got there we go here's your windshield wipers i think that's about it let's uh open the gate here let's go for a ride all right this uh vehicle is uh if you come here to drive it home it's a nice car to drive home in got a brand new set of tires runs great um obviously you saw the carfax it was pretty well maintained uh, we know the history of the car because i just showed you the history of the car why it's here how it's here Everything you need to know, you know so far uh, from the paperwork standpoint, we're gonna go on a ride now. Um, while we're doing that, I'll tell you how it works financially. If you come to Tucson and drive this home, you'll pay tax and dock fee. Taxes are whatever your state tax rate is, it could be zero, could be 10, whatever it is, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee, very simple. If you're gonna pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price and that's it. Uh, no dock fee, no taxes. Once we receive your wire, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address, sign it off to you, scan that into your online file so you'll be able to see it immediately, and then mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope, we mail it in. Everything is, is recorded, everything is videoed or photographed or scanned. There is zero lack of transparency here. Um, deposit. Obviously, obviously, you're going to have the vehicle shipped to you, and then you'll have the title from the mail, and then you'll go to motor vehicles. It's very kind of obvious, and that's the easy part. Um, obviously, the car will show up. You'll take the title you got and go get plates. Uh, deposit is $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale, so please get the $500 deposit in. Uh, once we uh, have your deposit, we'll put your name in a banner over the car at wheelconnects.com, and you and everyone else will know that it's sold. Until then, it will stay for sale, okay? Last part of every video, I've been, oh God, I've been doing this since 2002. The last two or three minutes, I say the same thing about every single vehicle. You can look at the 40 or 50 that we have online right now, go to the last two minutes, I'll say this. We don't have salesmen, so that's not included in the price of the vehicle. We don't have bottled water with our name on it and a lounge to kick it in all day, a game room, lattes, an attendant. They got all that at the auto mall. It's about a half a mile that way. Uh, that's definitely in the price of every car you buy from them. Um, we also don't have to pay for um, for a great property like they do. They're right next to the mall. We're over here on uh, Industrial Road on Gardner Lane in Tucson with the worst paving in the world. So obviously our rent is almost nothing compared to them. Right? So you're not paying for rent, lattes or salesmen. They also know that if you come in, to their dealership you're gonna want this car fixed if it breaks you know regardless of when well they add that into the price too so that's the fourth thing that they add onto the price uh, that we don't do because we are not fixing your car uh, we're giving you this video this car runs great I mean better than great um, change the filters and the oil and don't crash it you'll be fine um, but I'm letting you know we are letting you know that from day one you will be the owner and if something breaks, you will be writing a check for the parts or the service, and that's the bottom line, all right? Um, if that doesn't work for you, we haven't got a single vehicle in our dealership uh, that we could sell you, um, nothing. Um, so please know that so that there's no, uh, no drama and uh, we're on the same page. Uh, we're also obviously really full. I've been saying this for about the last month on videos, but I just keep buying cars left and right. But see, now we're double parked. We have them outside. They're everywhere. Um, so because of that, my brother is priced these things ridiculously low. So 
Uh, now is the time if you need a, like a daily driver to work that, you know, a four cylinder that gets good gas mileage that looks good. Um, this would be the one. Um, <laughs> and this would be the good time to do it. So I think that's about it. Um, nice little car. Thank you for your time.